Welcome back, guys. What is going on? This is the Club of the Man 1993, and I'm back at you again for another part in this Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone Let's Play. We are now in part four of this, of course. Last time we did our first broomstick practice, which, before we continue on this video, which is not going to be a long video either. It's going to be longer, of course, than the, um, the flying lesson, but um, this is actually gonna be not so that be long videos we only have, to have one thing we're really gonna do in this video and that's a little mini lesson we're about to do with Hermione but first um from last to lesson let's let's go to the um full of magic and see because we did uh, get a secret area get and get the card the uh the uh, gold wizard card in there but we got um Merlin now we have um Dumbledore and Merlin so we have uh 22 more cards to go because I said before um to unlock the final secret card, which is the 25th of the collection, you have to collect all 24 and collect 253 beans, um, and then we have to defeat Voldemort. Well, he who must not be named, even though it's not the only time we will do so. Um, and also, um, on the main menu f um, of this game, you can also continue to practice uh, your flying whenever you like as well. Also, you'll pretty much do just the same, you know... Um, Pretty much just the same, you know, uh, course as he did before in, in the flying lesson. But just want to get that out of the way. Now, of course, right now, we are uh, on our way to our charms lesson. And there are, you know, a couple bookcases, you know, a couple knights, and a cauldron over there knock over. We're going to get that one after we do what we have to do first. And, of course, there's a safe book. Do not, under any circumstances yet, get that safe book. It will kind of be a waste. Well, it will be the biggest deal because this really isn't that hard of, of a part of the game. But I do recommend keeping that safe book until before you actually go into Charms class. But um, let's pop over to my Hermione and see what's up. You're early for the lesson, oh, we're early. But I'll teach you a new spell it's always going to be early. We teach you our own spell. Hmm. It will open magically locked things, but don't get into any mischief. Interesting. Uh, back this to this. Once again, guys, to remind you, I absolutely suck at this. So let's. I'm hoping to at least get to part three. Um, well, the third lesson of this. So I thought I only got two lessons done. See, look, I'm already sucking. If it wasn't timed, I would, I'd be able to take my time and do this, but if it's the time, then I don't care. I do good this, this one. We only have to get 50% to pass. And we had to pass the first lesson, at least, to move on to move on in the game. So, oh, 75%. Not too bad. A little shaky, but... Okay. That was good. But I know you could do even okay, better. I like that compliment at least. It's not like Coral, who was a little more insulting, but then again, he's a bad guy in general. And wow, she's giving us five house points. Hermione, do you, did you have permission to do that? I mean, she says, I'm sure Professor Fluid would, would give you five house points for that, but still, like, did you ever confirm him before actually giving those house points? I mean, I know you're a prefect eventually, but you know. Let's see how I do this time. I think I got it. 78%. All right. Got to do a little bit better to get past the third round. That was good, but I know you could do even better. Exactly. That, that, that's, a, that's a good way of motivation. More house points. Hermione, again, how are you able to give us the house points? Like, shouldn't you say, like, you know, house points pending? Like, and how do you have you improved that, you know, you've even shown us this spell? Like, you have permission to do so? Like, are you a secret, a secret teacher, Hermione? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just being ridiculous. I'm sorry. Um, let's see here. It might be good enough to get over 80%. No, not too bad. Come on, come on. Nice! 94! Nice! One of my, probably one of my better ones. Again, I'm not too good at this whole pattern thing. Because, you know, we're timed, I feel rushed. So, alright, let's see if we, we, we can get past, um... Let's see if we, we can get, get, um... Get, um... The 95% here. Let's see. And I'll be impressed. Because Alhamora is not an easy spell to trace. Well, I was wasn't part of this little incendio against the Defendo. Alright. Maybe. Let's see here. That wasn't too bad. 78. Ah, rats. Oh, well. I was close. I'll give myself credit. I'll take it. 3 out of 4. Yes, it was a good try indeed. 30 points. 3 out of 4 lessons scored. I'm fine. Now we can do a little mini challenge, pretty much. We still have a few minutes before the charms lesson. Again, That's how did you, again, nothing to Hermione, how did you set up this, 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 this challenge? Like, like, what mischief are you really up to with Aloe Hermora that you made us teach Harry that, this spell? So we can open up a locked door now, yay. You've got it. Now, can you find the two secrets in this room? Two secrets, okay. Now, actually, here's a spot I have to point something out to you. Um, 
you can't make sure you get this secret first before going to the second one, which is going on to this knight, casting the spell, and he will give you a beam, and then it will open up um, the door to the side there, um, and get the wizard card, which of course that's one of two wizard cards in this part of the game. Well, this is including this and the Wingardium, Wingardium Leviosa challenge, which we'll do that in uh, part five, of course. We're just doing just this part of, of the um, part in this video, we'll do Wingardium Leviosa in part five. But um, first, let's see who we got. We got all the way to the back to do the first section. We've got uh, Tilly Toke. Who's that? Awarded Order of Merlin First Class for saving lives during the Il Francom incident. I, I already know this one. I don't know who that person is, but oh well, cool. We got that. We got three out of twenty-five now. But um, yeah, get that one first. That's serious. The second secret is behind this bookcase, and when you walk in here, it shuts behind you. If you're done a little bit boss there, Hermione, don't you think? Cast to unlock it. Yeah, we can unlock chests now. But, um, yeah, that door shuts, so you cannot get back to get that second secret, and you will not be able to get that wizard card. So make sure you hit that secret first, and of course, Harry thinks a mirror can unlock all of a sudden. And a chocolate fraud to boost us back up to full stamina. I think we lost a little bit before. Let's open up another door. And, oh, a picture frame? Oh, apparently Harry knows that that can unlock things. You know, it's funny thing also, too, is, like, you know, they have, they have Al Hermora and spells challenges after this, too, also. Oh, come on. I can't wait for it. So how, how, did, how did they know that Harry knows this spell? Come on. Stop! There we go. Got it. It was, it was weird. But, yeah, so how do they know Harry knows this, this, this spell? It's like, be realistic here, guys. See, that door was but that, but that one doesn't. Uh, but, um, okay, let's go back out into the main hallway here. Unlocking this door. And there's Hermione heading to, to Charms. Charms class is through this door. Alright, one second, Hermione. Now, the thing is, though, you don't have to open up the, um, because that, that's where we started at right there for that little mini lesson. Uh, but, um, you don't have to go in there first, but you can open up the other secrets, of course. But, of course, there are a couple ch ch chests that we're going to be opening before we go in. And it'd be weird to actually open those chests without being, you know, told, like, hey, you can unlock those chests by casting Owl Hermorna. Hermorna. Hermora, I'm sorry. Um, so we get some more beans. Again, it's, it's, I know it said, again, it said two wizard cards and seven secrets, but most of that stuff is in the, um, in the, um, I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, in the Wingardium Leviosa challenge, which we'll be doing in the next part, like I said. Now, okay, we knocked down the cauldron. Now, here, w watch this. Let's open up this first. Oops. And all we have is a beam. Like, you think, what a big ripoff, right? Well, now, look what we have to the side of us. We have two knights, which, of course, casting them, they'll reward us with a beam. 60. 61, 62, 63, and that's it. Okay, that's that one. Now let's go over to this one. The Pendo. Sound like Laura Ingalls again. Not that. There we go. Hi, Laura. That's up, Harry. And we got up to 67 beans, but just. Now pay attention to. See? That wall lifts not one, but two magical chests. Which all they have is beans inside them, but, you know, it's cool. But once again, like, why is it okay for Hermione to be teaching a spell that's not being taught in class in this game? Which I'm sure, you know, in actual Harry Potter, uh, they actually were, were taught that. And she's given us house points, too. And she never, and how many we got them approved? Like, we just got 30 free house points, pretty much, from a student. Oh, well. And ran, ran a funny rant there. But guys, that is it for this part of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, where we learned Al Hermora through a mini lesson. Um, I will see you guys before I grab that save book in part five, which we will learn our first actual charm with an actual teacher. So until then, guys, I am the Club of the Band 1993, and I'll catch you all then.